Our next contestant, contestant number nine, Anish Katan Gatani. <laughs> the fear of being different. The fear of being different, Anish Katan Gatani. Wondering what this is? This right here is my lunchbox. Now, to any normal person, this is just an ordinary lunchbox. But to me, this is the symbol of my transition from someone who used to be embarrassed of eating out of a lunchbox, lunchbox to someone who enjoys it now. Like many teenagers, I was a victim of a common problem, the fear of being different. Embarrassment was a common emotion for me as I always felt like I was being judged by other people. I stifled the quirkiest bits of my personality because I did not want to be labelled as weird. Let me give you an example. When I had to go up on stage to receive an award, my parents would be very proud. When it would finally be my turn to go up and shake hands with a guest of honour, they would already be in position right in front of the stage with their cameras aimed at my face. <laughs> one of them would be taking a photo and the other one would be taking a video. Now, normally, each participant only took 10 seconds to collect their award and go back downstage. But I would be on stage for an additional 30 seconds, just smiling continuously like this. <laughs> Four years ago, no other parent did this, by the way, but my parents were so proud of me that they wanted to capture the best possible memory of the event, no regardless of whether the whole auditorium was staring at us. Four years ago, this caused me a great deal of embarrassment, but now I am glad they didn't stop because of that. The fear of being judged affected many decisions in my life, from deciding on what clothes to wear to deciding on what to post on Instagram. It was not fun. I was not living my life based on the way I wanted to, to, wanted to but rather based on the, expect, the illusion that people had so much time in the world to care about what I was doing, which was obviously not true. When I turned 15, this started to change. However, it was not an overnight change. In fact, I am still learning how to embrace my personality as though no one was there to judge me for it. Let me share with you a story about confidence, which has convinced me that it does not matter what you do, what matters is how you do it. It was during orientation camp and we were all waiting for lunch to be served. My friend Mark had gotten up to get something when suddenly the sound of cloth ripping apart interrupted all our conversations. Standing in front of me was Mark with a huge stare down the center of his pants, splitting his pants in half. Now, obviously, I started laughing. In order to preserve his dignity, I will not go into the color of his underwear that was literally on display for the hundreds of girls and boys that were watching him. Now, this situation could have gone in one of two ways. It could have been horrible for him. It was just the first week of school. What would everyone think of this joker? However, that is not what happened. Instead, Mark got up and he yelled, why does this always happen to me? And he got everyone to start laughing. By embracing this humiliation, Mark did not come off as timid. He came off as a confident and charismatic fellow. We were not laughing at Mark. We were laughing together with him. I realized that I too had something special about my personality. And to be fair, we all do. But if we want our personalities to flourish, we need to do so with a touch of confidence in our interactions, just like how Mark did. It does not matter how weird we are. What matters more is that we show off our weirdness with full faith in ourselves. I want to encourage each and every one of you to do just that, to strive to be different, to strive to be unique, and to take pride in doing things in a way that no one would have imagined. By the way, I no longer eat out of my lunchbox, lunchbox in shame anymore. In fact, my friends love the food that I bring in it, and I can finally appreciate my, the hard work that my mother puts in to make a balanced diet for me every day, every morning. Thank you.